Hi guys, Ronnie here. Today we are testing with amateur triathlete Samuel and we'll dial again his Canyon Speedmax for him. So it will be a pretty standard uh, protocol for today. We have some helmets that he would like to test. So we have that helmet selection here. So probably we'll do a few rounds of those, then we back test the ones that perform better. Uh, that will be the first part. And then the second part will be his position testing. So because he's a triathlete, he's quite a lot of options regarding that. Um, he has some various adapters that he brought for his speed max with uh, reach extenders and things like that. So those will be worth exploring. And then for the final part, he has some hydration systems and options that we would like to test. So quite a few things to go through. Unfortunately, as you can see, the weather today is not ideal. It's quite windy, but it should stay that way. So in that case, there's no obstruction for the test. It's just a bit more uncomfortable for him, but the aerosensor device actually does a very good job of filtering that. However, we don't really want the wind to change because then we are not measuring uh, the performance difference between his particular setup changes, but the yo angle changes in the wind. So yeah, that's not what we want to know. So ideally the conditions would stay like this. I'm just hoping that there is no rain. There have been a few drizzles on the way and even now, but um, that's a problem for us because the sensor as it's a pit tube, the air has to enter in. So of course it's no, not waterproof, but as long as we don't get a solid rain and a wet road, a few drops should not be an issue. Uh, and we can continue on with the test. So I've sent him out for the baseline run uh, with his Met Cotton Trunker helmet. This is actually an option that we have tested for him before. It's the second time that he's here now with a different bike, so the things might change as the position changes. Uh, so, yeah, that's basically it for today. Let's see how things go. <gasps> Follow his lead, repeat it after me. I know they lurking this serpent is circling, but I never worry, cause he got the keys. He let it bleed, never put me on the freeze. Just look at how he spit it to me. It'll be out of right after I see. You can't make the promise unless you the king. Jay with a baby, I am what he made me. No, you cannot save me, so it's for the birds. Buy for a price, you ain't know what it's worth. He not letting go like his grandma purse. Rolling with heavy, he feeling kinda discouraged, cause he feeling down in the dirt. I told him heavy, you only need faith, cause yes, you were already did all the work. Life or death, this life is best. I'd rather see the vision complete instead of the speed to find regret. You gotta breathe so you can be free, so you never need the ice and checks. This be my plea, I lost my debt. I got a cheese, I found a flex. I gotta be, I gotta breathe, I gotta breathe. Come with the beef and we serving the patties Check out the verbs if it's getting chatty You gotta move but ain't gotta prove that you out in the front You do what you do and you ain't gotta stunt Cause humble is up and the proud gotta punt 4 to 10, if you wanna win best put me in I got the shooters that's ready to spin They come with the king and he know how to win He come to your team and he do it again Rain to sleep, when the sun is at its peak Gotta keep moving my feet until my journey is complete Capiche? Okay guys, so we're just wrapping up the test. Luckily, the weather has been relatively kind to us and we have been able to finish what we wanted. We finalized the tests uh, with the helmets. So we have the selection there with the Medrone, the TT5 and the Sweet Protection. And as is often the case, uh, the top spots went to the TT5 and the Sweet Protection. So it was a very, very even 
split between those two i would say within margin of error of the test we have that and we had to do some retests because the conditions have been changing a bit but now that is finalized and after that we have tried some adapters for this bike the reach extender to make slight changes to the position but this didn't work out and got us a higher cda than what we had before so it didn't go as expected but overall with the helmet changes we have made a pretty significant gain compared to the original one and we went from the high 0.19s to the low 0.18s so that's a good gain definitely by all means so yeah pretty happy with the results now just remove the sensors and then we'll be ready for the next one uh, again if you want your own setup to be tested because as you can see it's not always obvious what is going to work and what is not so in that case uh, feel free to book your test with us uh, on the link below if you like this video and would like to see more of uh, the ones coming up because we will be doing more tests this summer and each of them will be presented in a video like this so if you'd like to see more of that then of course stay tuned and subscribe to the channel thanks for watching and see you next time